good morning happy monday i can't believe i have this on we had the ac on all night but there's been a cool change thank goodness i have the busiest week coming up i hope you guys are ready <laughs> good morning a single ear flip to bless your monday <laughs> hi let's go I'm going to the podcast studio because I'm going to Sydney tomorrow, so I have to record today. Turns out I actually bought the wrong bronzer because this is the cream one, not the powder one. So very frustrating, very frustrating, but is it? It is. Oh my God. Oh, that's way too much. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to probably not repurchase it because <laughs> i do love my emco one but i said to the girl can i please have charlotte tilbury shade 2 powered up bronzer and then when i opened it i was like wait that looks dear that looks different stupid mistakes made by me <laughs> i've not worn this yet and i want to give it a run very curious to see how when i sit if this is going to look all right like the top but we'll figure that out today <laughs> I'm recording two episodes this morning. The first one is a solo confessions episode. And the second one, I'm actually a guest on someone else's podcast again this week, which I need to do some prep before I leave because he sent me the questions on Saturday. I need to cut these off. And the best part is I don't have to get changed today because I'm just recording one episode for mine and one for his. I've just been prepping for my podcast episodes this morning. And I'm going to make some breakfast now because I've got to leave. I'm tempted to go buy a bread roll this morning so I know that they don't sell out. But I don't have time to do that. And I'm starving for breakfast. So let's do that. Sadly, I don't have any strawberries. So I'm just sticking with the blackberries. They're probably my favorite right now. And I'm going to do some of this too before I leave because I need it. We made it to the potty studio. I was having anxiety while driving because I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be in Sydney tomorrow. I'm going to be in the Gold Coast Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not going to have a chance to go to inspections. I'm just like, oh, this is not a good week to find somewhere to live. And I think I've parked in the right spot. Hopefully I don't get a fine. We're back again. Hopefully this fit is all right. Yeah. Adam's, Adam's the host. And you're the victim. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm the victim today. <laughs> it's not the other way around. Come Any on. tips? Recording is done. I just filled out petrol. I actually called the real estate agent and I'm going to go to the inspection right now. I didn't want to have to go home and then go back out. So I'm going to do the inspection, go get some food, go home, and then also look at the new properties on realestate.com. This is my pre-lunch sweet treat. Not that I need a sweet treat, but I kind of do. They're like these little sour lollies. I love sour lollies. I made it home. I went and got some stuff from the deli and my rolls. I'm gonna make a very late lunch. The combination is different. It's chili jam, prosciutto, brie, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and rocket. Interesting flavors in today's one. I don't know how I feel about the brie in here as well. Hmm. I don't think I would make this one again. Happy I tried it though. Guys, Taylor Swift just announced a brand new album. I think everyone was thinking, oh, my friend is like sending that to somebody as a text to speech. Stop. Anyway, brand new album, April 19th. We all thought it's the Grammys today. We all thought it was going to be Reputation TV. Anyway, I have quite a bit of work to get done and I think we're trying to organize a date night because I'm going to be all over the place this week and I'm not going to see him and it makes me want to cry. I'm also PMSing so, you know, everything's a bit more dramatic. I've showered, put on a very casual fit, taken off my makeup. Our date night tonight is going to be very low-key, very casual. 
and I honestly prefer to see him with no makeup on because when you're like kissing and stuff it goes everywhere and if you know you know <laughs> probably TMI however I feel fresh now I feel good it's gonna be an early night because I've got a 6 a.m. flight tomorrow but I really want to see him because I'm not gonna see him all week and I just I don't like that okay I don't like it I'm home it's 10 p.m. and I'm gonna quickly get into bed because I have to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> True, Frank? I had a really nice night. We had fish bowl for dinner and I haven't had fish bowl in a while, so I went down a treat. And then we went to Kmart and we bought some things and it was fun. Our first Kmart run. <laughs> Good night, buddy. I'll see you when I get home tomorrow. I'm not gonna wake you up at 4 a.m. I'm gonna do my hair when I get to Sydney. Right now, oh, there it is. <gasps> I need to put on lip gloss. Sadly, I don't have time for a coffee. I'm gonna go, I've got a change of clothes and stuff in here. And I'm taking this just because I get cold on the plane. I feel stuffy in here, but it's probably cold outside knowing Melbourne. Anyway, it's 4.20, we need to get in the car. I can finally talk now. <laughs> so I'm going to Sydney because I've got an event at midday with La Roche Passe and then I was like, while I'm there, I may as well record the podcast. So that's why I'm flying so early. I also really need to clean the camera, but I don't think I have a cleaning cloth. And that makes me sad. I landed, I'm in Sydney. I'm going to order Macca's for breakfast. <laughs> I slept the entire flight. I had a middle seat as well. So I didn't film. Everyone was pretty sleepy actually. And I just got this because I cannot record on an empty stomach. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my Uber. I'm gonna head in. I'm recording two podcast episodes this morning, one with Steph, Steph Kelly, and one with M. I'm here. I didn't cut my hair. I don't, I'm not coming back. <laughs> oh, you're not? Okay. Love you. <laughs> okay. Well, Recording is outside. done. I think I got changed. Are you coming back? Quick, quick check. Um, We're all going to La Roche Passe yes. together. And I'm so excited. We are very excited. Yes, very, very excited. And we're probably going to be late. Please <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jamil Karaki, I'm a pharmacist here in New South Wales. And just like that, it's now 2 p.m. I'm back at the airport. I managed to get moved to an earlier flight. So now I leave at 3 p.m. instead of 4 p.m. Because I've got an event tonight with Carla. 
Today he's like back to back, so I've just bought myself one hour. Hopefully the plane is not delayed. We have a lot to debrief on as well. Oh, I hate going through this security. It's so, it needs to be updated. The fact I was literally here at 7.30 this morning eating in the airport. And again, I'm eating in the airport. I didn't want to get a KFC or a, well, I did actually want KFC, but I was like, you know what? You're also going out tonight, so get some rice paper rolls. From Rolled, I got the Vietnamese beef lemongrass. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's what I ordered. I have a aisle seat this time, and we are about to take off. So I'll see you guys when we land. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Carla and take you to the next location. <laughs> made it back to my car. I almost forgot where I parked because I parked this at like 4.30 in the morning. No, not 4.30. It was like 4.45. Same, same. Anyway, today has been a whirlwind. I recorded with Steph initially first and our episode went, I'm pretty sure for over an hour, we could not stop talking. Her and I are like two peas in a pod. So <laughs> I'm really excited for you to hear that episode. And then I recorded one ep with M, and I was trying to keep it at 20 minutes because we had to leave to go to La Roche. And then we talked for like 30, 40 minutes. I was like, what is wrong with you today? For someone so sleepy, you don't shut up. <sighs> mm. I just bought this as well. I also have a whole bottle of water. I'm feeling dehydrated. Now we're going to Melbourne Central because it is the advanced screening of Bob Marley One Love. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And I'm taking my sister because my sister loves Bob Marley and she's so excited she's been texting me about it all week so she's already there and I've got to go and meet her it's five oh it's 4 50 so I've got time and I'm glad I got on that earlier flight because right now I'd still be up in the air if I caught my original one I have successfully made it to Hoyt's Melbourne Central that's where I am this is where the screening is hopefully we can give you guys a review and I've actually made it here in good time it's 5 35 so I'm 25 minutes early I'm just touching up my face because the fact my makeup honestly doesn't look that bad. I'm quite Turn impressed. Left. Oh, I'm already here, girl. This is just the Fenty Beauty Invisi Matte Powder. So it's instant setting blotting powder and it's universal. So I don't think it's colored. I think it like goes to your skin like it's translucent is what I'm trying to fucking say. I can't wait to have a shower and I cannot wait to... I just stabbed my nail in that. Can't wait to wash this face. Truly. Now, should I put on the lip oil or should I stick to my gloss? Maybe I'll stick to my gloss. I want to get a chalk top and some popcorn. Yummy! <laughs> I've hit delirious now. Alright, we are here. I'm just waiting for Paula. Oh, she's there. <laughs> I have to put the camera away in a second, guys, but I've got Carla here. How are you feeling? I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. And what do you have here? A chop chop. Delicious. I also got one. Team Boysenberry. That was sad. <laughs> I, like, cried twice. Didn't have any tissues. What the hell, man? He died of... I don't want to give any spoilers. Carla's been a huge Bob Marley fan for her whole life. I have appreciated his music because she always plays it, <laughs> but that was really sad, just inspiring, and I'm, I've got to give it 10 out of 10. I would watch again. I feel like they could have done the ending better, but still, I'm glad we came and watched it. Now I'm going to go down a Bob Marley rabbit hole. What's your review, Carla? Are we allowed to? Yeah, oh, this okay. comes out when we're allowed to, oh, okay. after the fact. I would give it a 10 out of 10. I love Bob Marley, so... I'm being biased. <laughs> I actually gave it 10 out of 10. So oh, did you? Okay, yeah. yeah. How can you give him anything but yeah, a 10? Yeah, no. He's just his message, his love. It's he's sad, though. It is sad, but he's definitely... He, it's so cool because he continues to inspire, even after the amount of years he's been passed. Yeah, legacy. And yeah, he definitely has a good legacy. What a man. Yeah, he is. Legend. And the actor who played him was really hot. 
Yeah, he did. He did a good job. <laughs> he even sounded like him. I know, and look, I'm kind sure of they just like used, him. Used, used Bob Marley's voice over. No, I don't he know. probably learned how to how to sound like Bob Marley because that's reckon? what they practice. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for taking me, sis. That was so fun. You're welcome. You little cutie. Let's go home. Let's go. The never-ending day. But now I'm home, buddy. We're gonna say good night, aren't we? You ready to sleep? Had so much fun with Carla tonight, it was the best. I loved having quality sissy time. And you miss me all day. Not as much as I missed you. Sweet dreams. Mm. I'm tired. Didn't get this yesterday because I was scared I was going to wake people up. And I made it a bit too hot this morning. We have to go to the gym. And I don't necessarily have like a back-to-back -back work day, but I'm getting ready for the shoot tomorrow. So I'm getting my eyebrows done, I'm getting my nails done, I'm getting my hair done. And it's all back to back to back. And I think I need to move my flight because I don't know if I'm going to have time to pack my actual bag and go to the airport. Airport? I get to go to the airport. <laughs> Today I'll be completing day four of last week and then I'll have to start day one on Friday and I'll also have to carry a day into next week. We are back. I really have been craving my breakfast too. Hi buddy. checked in for my flight as well it's not until 8 30 p.m which thank goodness i do actually have time to come home and pack i'm not taking checked luggage because it's a shoot and i'm getting my makeup done so i'm not gonna have to take any makeup i can fit all my skincare and whatnot into a carry-on so i should be okay because you're such a good boy oh my god that was huge i'm so sorry oh my god i inhaled that i'm gonna have a quick shower i'm not gonna wash my hair because i'm getting it done and I'm going straight from brows to nails to hair, so I don't want to be in my active wear. I just want to put on something a bit more comfy today. I just have this top on and big pants, just because I want to be casual and comfy. I'm also going to take my laptop because I'll be able to do some work at my hair appointment. I need to take my pill. What day is it today? Wednesday. <sighs> I'm really... I shouldn't dry all of that. I'm a bit all over the place. I dry swallowed that. Don't do that. Don't be like me. <sighs> do I put jewelry on? Yeah. That always makes me feel better. <sighs> Take a deep breath now. I'm so silly as well. For the shoot tomorrow, I needed a black silky robe. I order one from Lounge. I pick Express. And I don't realise it's actually from Great Britain. So there's no way that if I order it on last Thursday, it's going to arrive today. So jokes on me because... Now I don't have a black robe and I've got to try and find one before my flight. As if I didn't know lounge was in Great Britain. I'm here. I hope Indy's here. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Bye gorgeous girl. Thank you for keeping me company. You're so cute. <laughs> No green cup today, however, they, oh, that glare. My eyebrows hurt so much. I was there and she's like plucking and plucking. I get them waxed and I was like, oh, everything you're doing is killing me. Now at my nail appointment, I thought I was gonna have to get white French tip nails because I've got the shoot tomorrow. However, Jazz and the girls sent me a mood board and I can get dark red, kind of like deep red tips, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just waiting for my appointment because I'm a bit early. I'm just sitting in the car. It's actually getting quite hot in here. How perfect is this shade? So happy. Love these. I've now literally driven straight to my hair appointment. I didn't realize how close my nail and hair places, 
eye to each other, but I'm hungry because now it's 2.30 p.m. and I haven't eaten since I had my breakfast. So I'm going to see if I can order Uber Eats to Alex's salon. I'm sure it'll be okay. Oh, and I don't know what we're doing with my hair today. I don't know, but it's it's yuck and I need to... It needs to be fixed. Okay, I am unwell because Alex actually said three o'clock not. Sorry, that's my sister. It's quite windy out here, but I'm gonna grab some lunch. We can eat in the car and then we can go to the hair appointment. I got a banh mi. It's so good. I also got one of these. <laughs> I dropped my Yeti. Can you see how the lid's like not properly in there? I can't undo it. I'm going to need someone with muscles to undo it. But every time I drink from it, it drips water. Why am I so clumsy? Alex just texted me and she's like, oh, my client, I finished her earlier. If you want to come before three, you can. And I said, I'm literally eating in the car. I thought my appointment was at 2.30. I'll be five minutes. So I scoffed that down. I inhaled it. And now we're gonna actually go get my hair done. We're just doing a toner and haircut today, which is good, because that'd be less time. has requested no judgment because this is not how my hair was meant to look. She curled it very tightly so that it will drop and look nice tomorrow because I'm going to do my own hair tomorrow but I told her I'm not going to wash it because it can't be fucked. Um, but I'll just like go over it with the hair straightener and like curl it myself. She's like let me help you. I'm like okay. <laughs> Alright now I've got to go home and pack and get to Queensland. I'm home and I got hello fresh because I was having dilemmas with cooking last week. <laughs> So I'm going to quickly unbox this. It hasn't been out for too long and I'll pop it away and then I need to pack like desperately. <laughs> this bag just because it's going to be easier and I'm packing in everything that I will need. I'm going to take a pair of PJs too because obviously I need to sleep. I can't believe I never actually tried this on. For everyone playing along in the vlog, I am going to the Gold Coast tomorrow to shoot my new collection with Jazz and if you want to see more, there'll be the video posted to the channel on Sunday night where I'll give you like more of an in-depth kind of background and context to the collection, which I'm so excited about. That's Franklin barking, if you can't hear him. I've got all my toiletries. I am bringing some lip gloss and other things to like touch up my makeup tomorrow if I need. Oh, Jesus Christ, always this retinol. The packaging is so bad. Like it doesn't stay. It's just like, Buddy. Hi buddy, I'm gonna miss you. Mommy needs to stay in Melbourne. No, I'm excited. I'll be back literally tomorrow, okay? Be a good boy while I'm gone. I love you. There is no way, but I have parked in the same car park that I parked in yesterday. Don't ask me how it's free. I don't know. Anyway, I bought in 30 minutes, so I need to go. Don't worry, I'm not checking the bag. We're not gonna be late. Both my bags got pulled into security. And the guy was like, oh, is this your bag, ma'am? And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, good, ma'am. You can take it. And I was like, you're calling me, ma'am. You think I'm old. <laughs> I did get a little macas. <laughs> I just got nuggets. I also went to Mecca. I'll give you a haul when I land. And I was super hungry, but... It's 8 o'clock, and if I don't eat now, I wouldn't eat dinner, so... I just got six nights. I have to eat, because I have to go board. Every time I fly Jetstar, I'm so excited, because I'm like, oh my god, will Suze be on my flight? So I texted her, and I was like, are you flying to the Gold Coast today? She's like, no. <laughs> Literally every time I fly, I text her, I'm like, will you be on my flight? And she's always like, no, she's never been on my flight, despite how much I freaking fly. I am 
staying at this really cute place. I need to show you the proper view in the morning. I'll give you a quick tour. It's like a service department slash Airbnb. It's adorable. So you walk in, this is the kitchen. We've got the AC blaring, which you can probably hear. You've also got the table. There's some treats for me over there. I'll show you in the other video. There's also some treats in there, which I'll show you in the other video. What's this? Oh, oh, this place is huge. I'm gonna keep that closed though, so the AC really works. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my God, she's put little treats everywhere. I cannot even deal with her. Wait, where's the light in here? Toilet, shower, laundry. <laughs> oh my God. Quick mecca haul, because I need to go to bed. I've also just gotten up tomorrow's podcast episode, because I usually do that on a Monday slash Tuesday, but because I was recording Monday, going to the inspection, Tuesday I was in Sydney, threw my schedule and usual routine out. I forgot to pack my face wash so I bought a new one mind you it was running out anyway at home so I was gonna buy a new one in the next fortnight or so I also picked up a little five pack of these because I want to do one tonight one in the morning I forgot them I forgot my moisturizer well my drunk elephant is running out and I needed to buy a new drunk elephant but they had none in stock so I bought this one the brand is Tula skincare never ever heard of it hydrating cream I'm about to use it so I'll let you know, but I just got a little mini one just in case I hate it. And then I also got my beauty loop. It's level four time. And it's from Rose Ink. I picked a oh it's highlighter brush and cream highlighter because I've got a cream blush, I've got a cream contour, now I've got a cream highlighter and it's refillable so less waste with this brand but I've never used a cream highlighter before I'll let you guys know how it goes I need to get into bed there's a time difference too so right now it's 12 30 but technically it's 1 30 in Melbourne <laughs> I'm tired good morning let me show you the view because it was dark when I got in last night Can you see? Look at that. It's right on the water. People are out walking and stuff. And I wish I bought my active wear, but I did not. Let's go outside. I wonder if it's hot. I was scared last night. There were so many noises. Oh my God, it is hot. And humid. Good morning, GC. Now I am getting my hair and makeup. Where is the light? Makeup done there. So I'm not gonna do that this morning, but I'm gonna shower. Put on a comfy fit, pack up, because I've got to check out when I leave. I literally just slept here for the night. And yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Like my tummy's a bit like <laughs> I am ready. I've just got this dress on. It's one of the ones that I got from Princess Polly. I want to be able to just take it off really quickly after I get my makeup done and I'll refresh my hair there. I'm gonna pack up the apartment and I'll see you guys when we're done with the shoot. Today I am putting the shoot day into a separate video. And yeah, bye. <laughs>
I'll wash it in the morning. It's got so much product in it and I just felt quite sweaty today in the shoot. Being a Melbourne girl, I'm not cut out for the Gold Coast humidity and the Gold Coast heat, so it took a while for me to adjust my body temperature at the shoot. And there was no AC in there and we were shooting in like a warehouse. So um, it was like a hot box. <laughs> anyway, I am wrecked, like not doing well tonight, but I'll see you in the morning, good night. I'm so tired. Honestly, what the hell? There was an earthquake last night as well. And I felt it and I was like, was that an earthquake? And then I checked online. I couldn't see anyone posting anything, but I just checked. There was. It was at 12.49. I felt it, but I was lying in bed and my window rattled. So strange. We're having so many more earthquakes. Hi, angel boy. Did you feel the earthquake? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I've missed you so much this week. We have a physio appointment today, you guys. Yeah. So this one is a little bit larger than my usual one. I'll show you a comparison sometime over the weekend. I tried to fill it to the same height of what the other one could hold so I could get the ratio right. Now time for a taste test. Did I make it too hot? Yes. <laughs> but the taste is right. We need to desperately sort out my gym as well. And I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm so behind. <laughs> it's fine. I think it's expected when you're not having a spare minute and you're traveling. My sesh is gonna be trash with capital T. Because your girl is sleepy. I'm actually so tired. Like, my sleep this week has been a mess. If we look at how many hours I've gotten each night, it does not add up to what it should be. I'm well below the eight hours. <laughs> I'm even below the seven hours, which I don't necessarily need eight hours, but I try to get, like, as close as I can. Oh, dear. My room. Low-key mess. However be expected after going back and forth into different states. Can you see that? I'm gonna get a massive bruise. I'm feeling a bit deflated. Deflated? Defeated after that because, I don't know, I just... I really wanted it to feel good and it felt really, it felt bad. I knew it was going to feel bad. Oh my gosh. Do you know how much better I feel after that? Usually when I get my hair done, I can get like heaps of days out of it because there's something magical that hairdressers do with your hair. I'll never be able to figure it out. And it just wasn't the case this time because of the shoot and because of the humidity and because of the sweat. Anyway, I'm glad I washed it. It always makes me feel better. Brought me back to life a little bit, truthfully, because I'm still a zombie today. <laughs> this is all gone. I don't know if I necessarily love this, but it was just good for me to grab because I didn't have any other moisturizer on me when I was traveling to the Gold Coast. I do have a whole heap of other ones here already. So I'll just add this to my collection and until I buy this, I'll just use some other stuff that I've got either from La Roche or Olay. I definitely didn't need to put makeup on today. However, my bags are bagging. <laughs> so I just want to feel a bit better about myself. <laughs> I'm going to quickly get changed, film what I need for YouTube, and then we're heading off to Franklin's appointment. I'm home from Franklin's physio. It was okay. Not the best. Buddy, come here. He is losing more weight, like, than what he needs to. He's so tired. 
because he's even skinnier now than what he was the last appointment and I haven't changed anything. If anything, I've increased his food. So she's like, has he been wormed? I'm like, yes. She's like, when's the last time he had a blood test? I said ages ago. Uh, so we just need to like check his bloods and check that everything's okay as to why he is losing weight rapidly, which I'm a little bit worried about. She said his energy levels and the way he's moving doesn't worry her. So she's like, we're just dotting our I's and crossing our T's. She's also worried about some part of his spine as well. So we've got a vet appointment next week. I'm on the cancellation list. She didn't say it was urgent. If she did, I would have taken him straight to like the emergency vet. Um, and I'm trying not to stress and I'm trying not to cry. <sighs> anyway, I thought he had been looking okay, but I guess cause I see him every day. Maybe my view is biased. He's been doing his exercises. We've been going on walks like he, hasn't looked like he's been struggling or been in pain or anything. So I'm hoping that it's just like maybe the hot weather or maybe, I don't know, I've got to just like up the food even more again. It's gonna be all right. I'm also having world's latest lunch. I mean, breakfast. <laughs> it's past lunch though. I just haven't had a chance this morning. I've been running around and I'm so hungry. <gasps> the giveaway winner was announced over on my Instagram this morning. I'm so excited for her. She was so happy. I've got to go to the post office as well before the end of the day so I can express that to her. I've got so much work to do though. I'll get into it once I eat. <laughs> Alright, I've gotten a fair bit of work done. I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. The giveaway winner, her name is Alexandra. And I'm just going to write up her details now. I didn't get to the PO box or the post office in time and I'm going to go tomorrow so I can get this to her. The other thing I did and I'm so excited because I was really hoping that I could do this. Alexandra's in South Australia by the way but I've given her a set of earrings from the new collection. I messaged her, I was like, do you wear silver or gold jewelry? And she said gold. So I've given her a pair of the gold Adore earrings. They're actually the ones I've got in right now. And she's really excited. So it made my day that I could make her day. And speaking of the collection, we, today earlier, we posted the first ever bit of content, like naming the collection. <laughs> so excited you guys I can't believe it I still have quite a bit of work to do so I'm gonna be sat in front of this computer probably till dinner time which is fine the week has been chaos and my work time is not over I repurchased this and my shampoo because I ran out my Kevin Murphy I've also just been sitting here trying to write the product descriptions and website stuff for the collection I have been writing up the thank you card as well, so my brain's a little bit in overdrive. I've posted no TikToks because I've been either in the car, in the physio appointment, washing my hair, or just like all over the place today. And it's actually turned out to be a nice day, which I'm glad because I've been doing my washing in between work too. I just realized I haven't done Sunday's podcast. I feel like crying right now, but I'm not going to. It's going to be okay. Hello fresh tonight. We're having the pork bento bowl. Mum actually whipped this up because I've had a crazy day. And Angel, thank you, Mum. I'm excited. It looks good. Look at this. It looks so good. I love pork sensor as well, so I know it's gonna be yummy. To work you guys and I forgot to give you an update so Monday's inspection I didn't end up applying for it was right near a train station too loud especially if I'm gonna be working from home I need something quiet I also have lined up inspections tomorrow and I've applied for one that I really love that is not open for inspection yet and I've had some good chats with the real estate agent or the property manager so fingers fingers crossed for that and yeah this will be the third week of inspections so 
usually, or what I've noticed in the past when I was renting in Sydney, is that it would take about a month to find something. So I'm like, maybe, maybe this is my weekend. <laughs> I'm still doing editing and I'm going to let little Frank sleep with me tonight because he had a big day today. I love you. always feel better after a nice hot shower. I literally didn't even turn on the cold water. <laughs> Probably not good for you. I'm giving like very lover. <laughs> you know what would be cute if I had on those white PJs with the hearts which I packed them in my suitcase because I thought maybe like Jazz told me to bring them maybe for the shoot and uh they're still in my suitcase or in my bag, which I have not properly unpacked. I'm like half unpacked. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, good night, you guys. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of editing because I need to. I've got inspections again tomorrow and yeah, I just want to try and light in some of my weekend stuff. Good night. Good morning. I'm so tired, you guys. Oh, hello. My God. Oh, someone's awake. Good morning. Hi, baby. All right, you hungry? Do you want breakfast? Okay, let's go. I've actually been up since 6.30. I got the podcast ready for tomorrow. I'm so I'm so annoyed at myself because it's the construction episode, the one where I had so fun and it was so loud. And you can really hear it in the way that I'm like talking that I was distracted. And I wish I just shut up and focused and stayed in the space, like stayed in my good headspace because mm -hmm. the editor did an amazing job and got rid of all of the sound like you can't hear any construction <laughs> and i'm kicking myself i'm not doing makeup because i've got to go to the gym later my first inspection today is at bloody 9 a.m and i really needed to sort out the podcast for tomorrow before i left the house otherwise i'd have panic all day and i just didn't want to sit in that energy so we'll go makeupless and i will do my workout later i have to go to the gym today Otherwise, I will, fall too, I will fall too far behind next week. And I just need to try and like get back some kind of stability and routine in my life. This week has rattled me a little bit. It was a big day for him yesterday, so I don't think he's going to want to move really. Buddy, we're just going out for literally a couple hours. We'll be right back, okay? Mum's going to come with me this morning, you guys. This is her first time going to rental inspections in her whole life. <laughs> Yes. How crazy is that? That's the truth. <laughs> I'm curious to see her reaction to it. I'm not even hungry, but if I don't eat and then I get hungry, then I'll be in a bad mood. <laughs> so we must. I have anxiety tummy too. We just did the first inspection. Mum, what did you think? It was cute really cute it was so big sometimes i know they use a wide lens but sometimes you go in and it's tiny and then you go in and you're like wow this is actually quite big mm. for like a townhouse or a unit or apartment or whatever uh i had already applied for that one because i had been doing that tactic where i like apply before i even go to the inspection but i'm gonna withdraw my application because of the backyard <laughs> the back area wasn't franklin friendly was it no it wasn't so, another one bites the dust. We're just waiting for the second one now. Oh, I forgot to show you. I made mum go into Baker's Delight before we came here. Or be before we started inspections. Because last Saturday, I didn't want to finish inspections again and not have a roll. You know? All the inspections are done. I've just come to now post this stuff at the post office. It's the giveaway prize. And I've got to go to the deli because I need to grab some deli meats and things. Uh, I'm not going to be applying for any of the inspections that I went to, but yeah, they just weren't quite right, which is fine. We can go past the deli. Anyway, I'm not going to make lunch right now because it's 11 a.m. I'm going to actually go to the gym. Well, it's not too hot and hopefully not too busy. Okay, so Simpson's Pantry asked to send me something 
And Em and I both said yes, because I love food PR. I had no idea what they were sending me. They've sent Vegemite mini wraps. Look at these. And like, they've also sent me whole ass ingredients. I've got bacon, I have eggs, capsicum, cheese. What's that? It came in like, the box is cold. It came in a fridge van. Oh, cherry tomatoes. Oh my God. This is so cute. They even sent like inspo, recipe inspo, different types of things that you can make with the wraps. That's really cute. Thank you, Simpsons Pantry. Feels rogue to go to the gym at this hour. However, we're gonna get it done and it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna go in one exercise at a time, go to my machine, we've got this. I still get gym anxiety. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I have a pimple here and I put a pimple patch on it and it's almost made it look invisible. I know it's there because when I move, I can see that my skin doesn't move where the patch is, but it's one of the daytime ones and it's very subtle because yeah, I noticed it today. I was like, shit, I'm getting, I think maybe two, another one might be popping up there. Usually happens when I get my makeup done, to be honest. I think it's just like different products that people put on my face and things like that. Wish me luck for the workout. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film of it, but. We'll see. Lunch is served. This has to be my favorite combination. The only thing that's letting me down is I had to use chili jam instead of pesto today, which is a little bit sad. However, I still think it will be good, hopefully. Mum's asleep on the couch behind me. You might be able to hear her snoring in a second. <gasps> Those inspections will do that to you. <laughs> it was our turn for a little nap, wasn't it, buddy? Oh, <laughs> that was fun. Finally getting into work, you guys. And I've got all of the picks from the shoot. Jazz has asked me to pick my favorite ones. Oh my God, I'm just looking at myself and I'm like, wow, I was really hot and sweaty and dying. Ooh, look at the earrings. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. These are like incredible. Tony and Taj, the photographer and videographer that we had both for this collection and last collection. Incredible. 10 out of 10 guys. And I'll pick my favorite image and then I'll show you. I already gave you your dinner. What's up? What's wrong? Do you need to go to the toilet? Yeah. Me just admiring Jazz. Oh my God. I love her so much. And this is probably one of my favorite pics. We were using the Digicam. I just think Jazz is an angel and we just look like two besties. So cute. I'm now going to shower and make myself presentable for a little date night. Why did I give myself an accent? <laughs> I'll take this bloody pimple patch off. Look how quickly this arrived. I literally ordered it, what, yesterday? Is that when I ordered it? The best. I've actually decided I prefer this one over the Virtue because I've been using Virtue in my hair the last week or so since this ran out and I think the Virtue cleans it worse. I think this cleans it better. I think this cleans my hair, makes it stay cleaner for longer is what I'm trying to say. And the best part, I love you Adore Beauty, thank you. Uh, the Tim Tam is the best. I don't want to eat it right now though because I want to have dinner first. It is such a nice night. I feel like going to Messina and getting ice cream or something. Anyway, I'm very casual because I just can't be bothered with makeup or anything like that, honestly. The week I've had has been non-stop, so I'm very excited for a calm, relaxing kind of night. I'll see you when I get home. Good day, guys. I'll see you in the morning. I'm so tired. It's like nearly 1 a.m. Sweet dreams. I had Frankie in bed with me last night. Big mistake because he woke me up at like 7 and I want to sleep in. But I've got to quickly get to the gym because I've got to take my car to get cleaned. James is finally washing it for me. I feel so bad. We've had to move the appointment 5,000 times and it's a really hot day. So I want to try and get it done quickly so I can get it done earlier so he's not like working on it in the heat. <laughs> and then I need to start today this is what i'm doing i gotta do it and the good thing about this is i can never overfill it like 
and not hopefully not spill it. I'll show you the size difference when I'm done with this coffee in here. I'll show you how much it holds. This is the other cup you can see. I've filled it as high as I usually would. And you pour it in. There's still so much room for activities. I'll make the bed. I'll wash the sheets and make my bed later. I need to go to the gym. Why am I feeling frazzled this morning? What shall I wear? Black. Mm, I think black is the key. Melbourne. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I felt so bad just because of the heat, so we've agreed to move the car cleaning and the car wash to another day. I don't want him to be doing this in this weather, and I'm glad I got my gym session done early. It's taking me so long to get through my sessions because I've been taking exercises from how I was behind last week. I think I should be able to fully catch up tomorrow, so I'm really happy that I've been able to get that done. And I'm starving now, so we should go and eat. Strawberries from the garden. And if you're wondering what's going on behind me, we sold that table that we had. We're gonna get a different one. So we've just got like a trestle table there. <laughs> I've tried absolutely everything to save this and try and unscrew it, but I cannot, I cannot. So what did I do? I bought another Yeti. I maybe bought two. I need to have a rotation because I swapped this every couple of days and I need to have a clean water bottle. So I bought a pink one and a red one. Anyway, I'm about to cut Frank's nails. And so this is my life hack. I put peanut butter all over a plate and this is the only way that I can do it. Game changing. Try not to leave too much on there just so he really works hard for it. I used to actually put it straight into the licky mat, but it gets stuck in there. So now I just put the plate on the licky mat. It's also natural and dog friendly, don't worry. So I'm gonna keep the Yetis that I purchased. Mum can share it too. I posted it to my Instagram story and you all said to, to drop it and bash it again and it worked. But look at, look at the lid now. Can you see this? Just compared to this one that's never been dropped. It's like you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> anyway, peace has been restored. My Yeti is saved. Very quickly. might regret this because it's really hot. <laughs> However, I want to wash my hair. I want to wash the sheets. You know the drill. I don't know if I've ever showed you this, but on my pillows it tells me when I have to replace them. So literally Feb next year, time for new ones. I have kept my roll nice and basic today. I had to use a bocconcini. I was happy with mortadella and tomato. We had to get the herbed one because the sea salt was sold out. Very sad. Isn't that sad, buddy? He wants some. You can't have any. All right, you guys, you already know the drill. I'm gonna give you a minute. What do you think my joy jar is this week? We are up to week number six, which is crazy. I hope that you guessed that. <laughs> it had to be this, because it was honestly a 10 out of 10 day and I love the team so much, so. Make sure you go and watch that video. I put on these sheets, like I changed the actual whole set. The only annoying thing is I don't have a little square pillow, like that little one, in this set. So I just put that pillow in the cupboard. <laughs> this set is just textured. The other one has actual like stars and stuff on it. But yeah, fresh sheets and now it's time for a shower. I'm banning myself until any further notice from doing online orders because look, I bought the rinse. I bought the conditioner, not the shampoo. So I washed my hair with the Virtue one. The worst part about it is in my Adore Beauty offer, box, order, I bought two of the shampoos. So I actually bought two of the conditioners. This one still has the seal on it. I'm going to run a giveaway. I don't know where on either TikTok or YouTube because the last two ones I've done on Instagram. 
and I'm going to put this conditioner into the giveaway because I'm not going to return it. It's really good. I do love the conditioner too. But someone, what is wrong with me this week? That's two items I've gotten wrong. I am filming some content this afternoon or tonight. So that's why I've got this on and not PJs and jewelry on because I want to look cute. It's just my content for HelloFresh. And I'm obviously going to make dinner because that's what I'm filming. <laughs> This pimple as well, not going away. <laughs> I was just quickly showing mum this necklace from the collection. And I said to her, it's like very inspired by the bows on the back of my feet. Cause I've got two beautiful bows from Sailor Moon. Sorry to put my feet on the internet on the back of my legs there. And when you see the whole collection, you'll see it's very much Adele coded. <laughs> BTS everybody look how good that looks yum and we are done this is so good thank you good night Franklin say good night vlog I will see you next week guys I do have the AC on so he's not going to be warm don't worry he actually hates being cold so I'll keep this in here if he wants to get out of it he usually can I love you he's annoyed at me because he was just about to go into mum's bed <laughs> Don't give me that face. <laughs> it's my first night wearing these PJs as well. We're about to go into Valentine's week, so I'm gonna be in my Valentine era. <laughs> but I love them. I got a size small to medium from Same. I will link it in the notes for you. And it matches what Jazz gave me, so perfect. Oh, I'm so excited to get into bed. It's quite warm though, so the AC is going to be left on. I always get the afternoon heat in my room, so my room is a bit like an oven at the moment. It should be fine once I get, like once I fall asleep, I usually actually get cold, so anyway. I'm very excited about this week. I have the therapy, I was meant to have therapy this last week, however, it was quite the chaotic week, so I had to move my appointment and I definitely need it. So I managed to get through, but I do need to, I do need to go. Anyway, I will start to wrap the vlog and say goodnight because it's bedtime. I noticed this week, cause I was so busy, I didn't have a chance to reflect or like dwell in too many negative emotions. However, I also know that is a coping strategy of mine, like to make myself really busy so I don't feel my feelings. <laughs> so I'll unpack that in therapy tomorrow, but I'm managing. I've got some good things happening, so that definitely helps. I've got things to look forward to. I'm about to go into Taylor Swift week and I didn't get a chance to start on my friendship bracelets. I'm gonna have to try and do them. I don't know when, sometime this week, but <laughs> It's going to be all right. Anyway, I hope that you have an amazing week ahead. If this week has been hard for you, just know that I'm thinking of you and holding space for you. It's going to be okay. Even if it doesn't feel like it, just trust me. I promise you it will be. And just hang in there, okay? Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. I will see you guys next week. I love you and I'm grateful for you guys. I'll see you soon.